Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. I have a short but sweet Photoshop video for you today. Whenever you're doing any type of compositing, one of the more difficult things you'll encounter is trying to cut out a person who has hair that is just curly or fly away, or it's just not tight to their head. It's just out in space. Well, it's very difficult to cut out that hair, usually. Well, I'm going to show you a method today that works great as long as the background is even and there's a lot of contrast between the background and the hair. Now, it doesn't really matter what color the background is, just as long as that it's got contrast between it and the hair. Now, you can see for this image here, we have the model and the hair is kind of flowing out into space and we have an evenly toned background. So this is a perfect example where this method will work wonders. As a matter of fact, you're going to be amazed how easy it is. Now, it does involve channels. If you're new to Photoshop, don't worry, because what we're going to do in channels is very, very simple. So we have this image. It's just a background layer in Photoshop. Nothing was done to it. We're going to go directly to channels. And you'll see we have the RGB channel. Then we have the individual color channels, red, green, and blue. Now what you want to do is you want to click on each of those individual color channels and look for the most contrast between the hair and the background. So as you look at red, you can see the hair is discernible and there is some contrast between it and the background. But when I pick or click on the green channel, the hair is a little darker and the background didn't really change. So there is more contrast between there is more in contrast on the green channel as opposed to the red channel. So green is a better choice. Well, let's check out blue. We'll click on blue. And blue darkened the background a little bit, but it didn't really darken the hair a lot. So I think, just eyeballing it, that there's less contrast on the blue channel between the hair and the background compared to the green channel. So green in this case is a better choice. Now for some images, you'll find the blue channel may work better. And for a few other images, maybe the red channel works better. So that's why you have to go through them one by one and decide which one has the most contrast between the hair and the background. Today, for this image, it's the green channel. Now what we need to do is duplicate the green channel. Now to do that, just click and drag it down to the bottom on that little plus sign. And you'll made a green copy. So this is the channel we're going to work on. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get a levels adjustment to increase that contrast even more. But don't go up here and do a levels adjustment layer. You want just the straight levels adjustment. Now, if you like keyboard shortcuts on a Mac, it's Command L. On a PC, it's Control L. If you don't like keyboard shortcuts, just go up to Image, Adjustments, Levels. And what we, again, we want to increase the contrast even more. Don't worry if you ruin what the image looks like. We just want that hair to have high contrast against the background. Now I'm going to go to this side, the left-hand side of the levels control, and just push that to the right. And you're going to see I'm making the hair, the overall image, darker, but the hair a lot darker. So I'll keep going. Now I'm going to go to the far right, and I want to brighten up the background because I made that dark. So I'm moving this this way. So we're making the background lighter. I'll make the hair darker. Now, how far do you go? Well, you don't want to go so far that you're just making like the hair too dark and you're losing the separation that you did have. You just want to go far enough where you could still see the individual strands of hair, but it's darker overall. And we want to brighten up that background as well. All right. So overall, that looks pretty good. Don't worry about the model's face or anything, all that. We're just really mainly concerned with this hair that is flying off into space and where there's gaps between the hair and the background. So that looks pretty good. We'll click OK. Now what we want to do is get a selection of this. To do that, it's very easy. Just hold the Command or Control key in while clicking on that green copy layer. So if you have a Mac, holding Command. If you have a PC, Control and click, and we have a selection. Now go back up to your RGB channel. Click there. You can see the selection. Then go over to Layers. Now we want to simply add a layer mask to this background layer. To do that, go down to the very bottom and click on the little mask icon. And we added a layer mask, but the layer mask is backwards. We're really cut out the woman. We didn't cut out the background. So we just need to 
invert this mask. To do that, on a Mac, hit Command-I. On a PC, hit Control-I. And we inverted it. Now you could see that the cutout is beautiful. It's perfect for her hair. But we cut out part of her face as well. Well, that's super easy to fix. Just make sure you're clicked on the mask. So you could click on the actual layer or the mask. Make sure you're clicked on the mask and get a brush. The brush keyboard shortcut is B. It's also right here in the tool well. And we want to do is we want to paint in white here. So right now I have black as the foreground color. To get white, just hit the X key on your keyboard and we'll get a large brush. And I want a hard brush. I think, hard, yeah, hardness set 100 and then simply paint in white on the mask. And if you wanna see what you're doing, hold in the Alt or Option key and Alt if you have PC option if you Mac and click on the mask. Now you can see the mask. So you can see where we're painting. Now there's a little spot right there I think that's actually a gap in her hair, so I don't want to do that. But over here isn't. So I got that. Now to go back to the regular view, hold in the Alter Option key again and click on that. And you could see there she is, beautifully cut out. Now wasn't that easy? Now one thing I want to do is if you look down here, this little pattern that's on her dress, that's actually cut out. So I need to paint that back in. So make sure you're painting in white. And there we go. So we're bringing that back as well. Now it's just about perfect, but I'm not sure you can see it in the video, but over here it doesn't look perfect. It looks like there's still a tiny bit of that background there. So it's not totally black. If I hold in the Alter Option key and click on the mask, you can see that. So what we need to do is paint in gray over there, or paint in black over there. I'm just gonna go back to the regular, regular image. I'm going to swap these by hitting the X key on my keyboard. So we're now painting in black. Get a really large brush for this. And we'll just come in here and make sure that we have a total cutout of the young lady. There probably was a little bit. I didn't notice, but I bet there was some over here as well. So we'll grab that as well. Make sure we're, we have the total cutout. And that's it. How easy was that and how perfect it was? I mean, let me zoom in a bit. Look at the cutout on the hair. It's really, really well done. So that's the easiest way I know of to cut out hair. The only requirement is you need really an evenly toned background and a lot of contrast between the hair and the background. Try it out for yourself. Leave a comment below. See how it works out for you. I'm interested to know. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon. <laughs>